Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back. So, today we will discuss that producers uh, whose uh, optimum quantity decision okay, we have discussed when he was operating in a product market which is com perfectly competitive vis a vis when he is going to operate in a product market which is monopoly kind vis a vis when he is going to operate uh, in a product market which is monopolistically competitive kind all these three alternative we have already discussed right taking the same cost, cost structure of that producer. So, today we will discuss that producer if he uh, goes to a market which is oligopoly in nature ok, of course product market ok, the kind of product he is producing when he is going to sell that product in a market that market is oligopoly in nature. So, what is oligopoly we have already mentioned in our la last lecture oligopoly is basically what kind of market four different types of market we are discussing no uh, explicitly in this code course. Okay. Uh, so, you are asking how many sellers are there in the market. Okay. First one seller if answer is 1 then it is monopoly, if answer is few, few then this market is called oligopoly and when answer is many then you are asking again two question one question right whether product is similar and differentiated or product is same or homogeneous or identical right. So, when it is identical product or homogeneous product it is perfectly competitive market when similar but differentiated close substitute to each other kind of thing then the market is monopolistically competitive right. So, this code uncode few, few number of sellers are there in this market. This few term has a remarkable implication, what is that implication? implication is that since only few sellers are there strategic interaction among the sellers right what kind of behavior I am taking or what kind of product quantity decision I am choosing vis a vis my rival or who are competitors of my mine in that market what kind of uh, production choice or what kind of uh, quantity choice they are deciding all those things actually quantity choice price choice also sometimes ok. Although we will discuss in this course only quantity choice right, but there are uh, oligopoly models where uh, producers are deciding their price first and then quantity is de determined according to the uh, market demand curve ok using the market demand curve. So, that we will not discuss here. So, that is why we are telling quantity choice only. So, when I am deciding about my optimum quantity or my profit maximizing quantity right, I have to be very careful very particular I have to take into account what the optimum quantity choice other producers are doing other producers means the rivals the competitors to me who are here in this uh, market right. And more specifically we will discuss in this course as duopoly duo poly market d u o p o l y duo poly market duo poly market is a special type of oligopoly market where this duo number of producers are there two producers are there ok duo poly market ok and they are strategic interaction or what kind of quantity decision I am taking I have to be very particular I have to be very careful I have to be very considerate and I have to take into account what kind of quantity choice my rival or who the other player is in that same market ok, uh, his decision I have to consider ok. Because see this duopoly market I am sure uh, many of you know what kind of uh, this market is in real life a specific example ok. Say you know that soft, soft drink, soft drink ok. So, two global giants are there one is called Pepsi and another is called Coca Cola ok. Pepsi and Coca Cola ok. You will see that this soft drink no perhaps in your locality some uh, local made soft drink is available, but uh, beyond that whether local made soft drink is available or not does not matter product for from these two companies ok Pepsi and Coca Cola those products are there 
In fact, this Pepsi and Coca Cola, they are producing same type of commodity, right? And they are the two global giants, worldwide soft drink market. These two uh, producers mainly control. Uh, very uh, here and there, some exceptions are there in your local market, my local market, and different people's local market. Maybe one or two local brands are available. But other than that, these two are the big giants, global giants. Okay. So, this kind of market we will discuss where two equally almost equally powerful giants or powerful producers are there and they are strategically behaving to capture more market share. Okay. Market here, market is market for soft drink. Okay. This market, whatever market share I, I want to grab, my rival want to grab. So, they are they are competing to grab as more as possible of the market share. Okay. That is the thing. So, that we will discuss here profit maximizing decision of a producer who is operating in a duopoly market. Okay, that we will discuss. So, before that discussion, so it is a we, we told that this uh, like when we told that large number of sellers are there in a perfectly competitive market. What was the implication? Implication was that since large number of sellers were there, none of them have any worthwhile control on market outcome, on market price, market quantity things. Okay. Only that is why everybody is price taker and given that price, each of the producer was uh, deciding his or her optimum or profit maximizing quantity choice right, of the same product, that product. right. So, here this few, what I was telling, few's implication is that few means each of them, each of the producer who are there in the market, each of them have some worthwhile market share or worthwhile uh, control over the market outcome, over the market price uh, decision. Okay. Okay. So, that is the thing, that is the, that is the implication of the quote unquote term, few sellers are there in this market. So, before that since we told that strategic interaction across the parties or amongst the parties is very important in this market, right. So, we first introduced another stream of say mathematical stream or another tool called game theory, okay, where strategic interaction uh, uh, plays uh, extremely important role. Okay. So, we will first introduce game theory, few popular game okay, and game theory related certain terminologies to familiarize ourselves how strategic interaction can play or strategic behavior can play a, a remarkable role in determining the equilibrium. Okay. Using that knowledge, we will discuss a duopoly market. Since duopoly market we are going to discuss where only two players are there, let us take game only where two participants are there, two players are participating in a game. Okay. Again, in real life oligopoly market, okay, two types of strategic interaction are there, where the participants are deciding simultaneously, simultaneously all the parties, all the players, all the producers who are there, sellers who are there in the market, okay, they are deciding their uh, profit maximizing quantity choice simultaneously. When I am deciding parallelly same time Mr. another my rival or not rival always another competitor, okay, my uh, another competitor he is also deciding, another competitor she is also deciding, everybody is deciding their quantity decision simultaneously at the same time. Vis a vis, okay, sequential decision making is also there, sequential, okay, in real life that sequential decision making is also there. Sequential means what? There is a big dada kind of thing, big brother kind of thing in the market who decide first, okay. And there are so many other producers, not so many, few other producers are there who will decide their profit maximizing choice looking at first this uh, leader. Uh, what choice he or she is taking. Okay. Those kinds of model, oligopolistic model are called leader follower model, where sequential game is involved. So, you can you can understand no, this sequential game in compute, uh, computer production industry, right. IBM is a big uh, producer okay. and lot of other, uh, few other producers are there. 
okay, they usually uh, wait for uh, every year's IBM's decision. What kind of quantity I, I, IBM is announcing? Uh, so that many computers they will produce this year, like that. Okay, so they wait. Other followers they wait, or followers means who are the relatively smaller producers of the computer. Uh, okay, so they wait. Once IBM announced, then they depending on their cost structure and all, they decide how much quantity of uh, computer they will produce in that way, right? So, that is called sequential game. So, in, in real life oligopoly market, both, both simultaneous kind of game is involved as well as sequential game is involved, but in our course, we will not discuss the sequential game okay, or any oligopoly model which depends on sequential game, we will not discuss in this course. So, we will discuss only simultaneous game. Okay. So, let us introduce game. Okay, what is game? Okay, uh, uh, more specifically, what is a simultaneous game? And we are more specifically focusing here only game of two players. Okay, where only two players are playing or are participating. Okay, okay. So here, each of the player we are assuming by default, each of the player are rational. Okay, rational means what? Rationality definition we have we have given very uh, initial first lecture or second lecture, if you can remember a person or an economic agent will be called rational who deliberately quite judiciously quite what should I say more more uh, yes quite judiciously uh, quite carefully okay they decide or uh, that agent decide the best alternative for him or her so that he or she can achieve his goal okay so whatever uh, decision I am taking Okay, I very carefully taking that decision, I very judiciously taking that decision so that it can help me to attain uh, my target. Okay. So, here uh, when we are going to discuss the, a game between two players, we are assuming that each of the players are rational, each of the players are rational. So, this is the first. So, it has some uh, implication, I am rational, suppose me and you are playing, right. So, I am rational, you are also rational. Not only that, I know that you are rational, you also know that I am rational. Not only that, I know that you know that I am rational, and exactly you know that I know that you are rational. Okay, and so on and this way as many uh, steps you can go backward. So, why these are important because accordingly every player will take the decision okay? because and, and we are discussing a full information kind of game everybody knows everything. Okay? So, let us take a, one simple game example say suppose usually a game is denoted by a, a payoff matrix. Okay? So, like this, what is payoff matrix and what is that? We are coming, we are coming. Suppose this side say I am telling uh, Mrs. Column 1 person and this side 1 person is there Mr. Row. These two persons are participating in a game. We told that it is a duopoly market thing. So, we, we told that we will consider game where only two participants are playing. So, Mr. Row 1 participant, Mrs. Column is another participant. Okay. And each of them has two strategies, two strategies means I have two opportunities, I can choose this or that. Parallelly, uh, the other party also can choose whatever the two options uh, she or he ha has before her. Okay. And out of this and we are, we are talking about simultaneous game. So, when I am deciding my action, when she is deciding her action, this decision is make, decision making or decision is taken simultaneously at the same time. So, depending on that what I will get and what he will get th that will be determined uh, that is denoted by this uh, this matrix. So, suppose Mr. Rho has uh, two strategy, two options say top and bottom. Alternatively, Mrs. Column has also two strategies say left and right, left, right. Okay. So, suppose, uh, so four cells are there, suppose this cell is telling 2 comma 1, 
this 2 comma 1 means how to read the, those numbers 2 comma 1 means so basically if Mr. Rho choose top and Mrs. Column choose left they are choosing simultaneously Mr. Rho apparently does not know that what Mrs. Column is going to choose whether left or right. Okay. Similarly, Mrs. Column does not know a priori that what Mr. Rho is going to choose whether top or bottom. But if it happens to be the case that Mr. Rho choose top and Mrs. Column choose left, then definitely this cell is generated. Okay. Exactly the same way when Mr. Rho choose top and Mrs. Column choose right, then this cell will be generated. In that way, these four alternative cells are there, for any of those four cells can be generated. Right. So, if this cell is generated, Mr. Rho will get 2, Mrs. Column will get 1. So, a pair of numbers we are, uh, we, are, we are indicating or we are mentioning in each cell of this matrix that pair of numbers, first number is telling that that is the payoff of the row person, person who is there this side and the second number that is the payoff to the this person who is tell, uh, the person who is uh, in the column side. Okay. So, suppose this is 2 1 1 2 okay, 1 0 0 1. So, suppose this is the payoff structure. Okay. So, how we will read if Mr. Column choose bottom and Mrs. Mr. Rho choose bottom and Mrs. Column choose right then this cell will be generated this red color cell will be generated that time Mr. Rho will get 0 and Mrs. Column will get 1. Okay. And this uh, rationality what I told no everybody judiciously quite purposefully uh, deciding his or her strategy out of this Mr. Column Rho has two strategy top or bottom I will choose very uh, purposefully very judiciously one of them exactly similar for Mrs. Column. Right. And when we are telling that everybody is rational, so I will as a rational agent, I will uh, bother only what I am going to get. I will not bother what when I am going to get what my rival or with whom I am competing what he or she is going to get, I do not care. So, more specifically what I am uh, rationality what I am telling here this feature is basically we are assuming for simplicity that nobody has any sadistic pleasure that we are assuming. Why that is important in real life I can make so that real life you know, sometimes people decide on the basis of that also right. I will get more a little bit I have a choice somebody is giving say that, telling that okay uh, say government is telling that I will give you 10 rupee I will give your neighbor also 10 rupee. Okay. So, both are, we are happy. Tomorrow government is telling that I will give you not 10 rupee 20 rupee. Rather, and I will give your neighbor as 30 rupees. So, I am getting from 10 to 20, I should be happy, right? But perhaps I, I will not be that much happy knowing that, oh, government is giving me to only double, but my neighbor uh, three times. Okay. So, that sometimes happen in real life. Okay. So, we are not considering that thing. Okay. So, when I am getting more, that is my target. If I get more, I will choose that only. Okay, that is everybody's. That is the decision. Okay, sadistic pleasure. No, there is an excellent joke, right? Say one person is uh, praying for some to some god, right? And then God came, okay, and tell, what so bolo kya chahiye? So that person is telling, uh, and that God is telling, whatever I will give, okay, I will give double of that to your neighbor, okay. And that time this person no is telling that God you. You, you spoil one eye of mine. Okay. So, that kind of pleasure no, none of these people have that we are assuming. Okay. But by rationality, we are ruling out that kind of possibility. Okay. So, now you understand that look at here, now we will introduce one and, and this payoff structure no, if top left I choose a row choose top and column choose left then this cell will be generated then row will get 2 and column will get 1. 
So, in that way all this pair of numbers no here 2 1 here 1 0 here 1 2 here 0 1 all this pair of numbers no everybody knows Mr. Rowe also know Mr. Scholam also know. So, everybody know that what I will get uh, if some cell is, uh, is realized and parallelly what the other person also will get everybody knows those, those information that is why it is called full information kind of game right ok ok. So, now let us introduce one concept called dominant strategy dominant strategy what is that dominant strategy look here Mr. Rho has a dominant strategy top what is that dominant strategy ok Mr. Rho knows that what Mr. Rho is going to get that does not solely depend on Mr. Rho's choice it depends on Mrs. Colum's choice also whether Mrs. Colum is going to choose left or right that also has some implication over Mr. Rho's ultimate payoff what he will uh, he is going to get right. But irrespective of the fact that what Mrs. Colum is going to choose Mr. Rho can get always better if he choose top look if Mrs. Colum choose left that time is Mr. Rho choose top he will get 2 alternatively Mr. Rho choose bottom he will get 1. So, these two numbers he is comparing because the pair of numbers first number always going to the this person no and second number to this person right ok. Look at here alternatively if Mrs. Colum choose right in that case also if Mr. Rho choose top he will get 1 if Mr. Rho choose bottom he will get 0. So, the num pair of numbers what we, we put here right Mr. Rho is saying that yes my payoff what I will get that is uncertain and that depends on what the other party is going to choose. But irrespective of the other party's choice it is always better for me to choose top. If I choose top I will get more than by choosing bottom which is the other alternative available before me ok. Exactly same way looking look at here Mrs. Colum, Mrs. Colum will compare this two number and this two number ok this green color this two number this two number and this two number. Mrs. Colum is looking at again Mrs. Colum's payoff is uncertain depends on actually what Mr. Rowe is going to choose, but does not matter what Mr. Rowe is going to choose if Mrs. Colum choose left she will get always better why look when Mrs. Mr. Rowe is going to choose top in that case if Mrs. Rowe and uh, Mrs. Colum choose left she will get 1 if Mrs. Colum choose right she will get 0. So, she is getting more by choosing left alternatively when Rowe is going to choose bottom that time also if Colum choose left she will get 2 if Colum choose right she will get 1. So, irrespective of what Mr. Rowe is going to choose if Mrs. Mrs. Colum choose left she will get always more then by what she could get by alternatively choosing the right the other option what is available to her. So, we are introducing here one peculiar game where both row and column the two parties each of them have a dominant strategy. So, what is the definition of dominant strategy? Dominant strategy is out of the alternative options or strategies available to a player ok. One strategy which gives always more than by choosing any other strategy is what is available to that player irrespective of what is the choice of the other party or other player right. In this particular case Mr. Rho has the top and Mrs. Colum has uh, left these two are dominant strategy. So, that means what if this kind of game uh, played again and again today tomorrow day after tomorrow again and again this kind of game is played right Mr. Rho will always choose top and Mrs. Colum will always choose left ok. So, top left will be always the equilibrium in this particular case ok. So, this is the equilibrium this equilibrium is called Nash equilibrium also uh, I think uh, many of you already watched that beautiful movie no uh, beautiful mind ok by Russell Crowe no Russell Crowe is the hero in that movie ok. That is based on the uh, life of this Nash John Nash ok uh, who actually has done lot of works with game theory. Okay. Anyway, anyway, so that is called Nash equilibrium. So, what is Nash equilibrium definition? I am coming. Okay. So, 
first uh, what we are discussing if both of the parties, both of the players who are participating in the game, if, if each of them have a dominant strategy, of course, the intersection of these do, dominant strategies will be an equilibrium. Okay? Equilibrium means every time this party will choose his dominant strategy and this party also will choose her dominant strategy. So, two dominant strategies, what is the interaction or what is the intersection point that will be the always generated set, this cell will be generated always. Okay. Now, suppose if I manipulate this game a little bit, suppose game is not this much, rather the payoff structure is this kind. Okay. This as usual left here, that is Mr. Mrs. Column side, right here, okay. this is top, this is bottom, okay. Okay. and this side Mr. Row and that side Mrs. Column. Right. Suppose this is 2, 1, 1, 2. Okay. Suppose this is the payoff structure. Okay. Now, look at here if we ask whether Mr. Rho has any dominant strategy. Okay. No, no, let me let me just uh, change this thing. So, in this particular case, if this is the payoff structure, right, and each of them know what is the payoff structure, who is going to uh, going to get what, if any of these four cells is uh, realized, okay, they, they know every, every numbers. Okay. Now, look at here, if we ask whether Mr. Rho has a dominant strategy, answer is yes. Look at here, Mr. Rho is comparing these two numbers, answer is yes, and these two numbers. So, does not matter what Mrs. Uh, column is going to choose, Mr. Rho will get always better if choose top, but whether Mrs. Column has any dominant strategy, answer is no. Why? Look at here, when Mr. Rho is going to choose top, that time if Mrs. Column choose left, she will get less, then choose right, she will get more. Alternatively, when Rho is going to choose bottom, that time uh, Mrs. Column will get more by choosing left than uh, by choosing right. Okay, so, one case he is getting more here, another case he is getting more here. Okay. So, in this particular case, if this is the game right, and this is the payoff structure, top is the dominant strategy for Mr. Rho, but Mrs. Column does not have any dominant strategy. In this particular case, what will be the equilibrium? Look, I know you are rational, you know I am rational. So, although Mrs. Column does not have any dominant strategy, Mr. Mrs. Column know that Mr. Rho is rational and since Mr. Rho has a dominant strategy, Mr. Rho will choose always the dominant strategy. So, Mr. Rho will choose top for sure that Mrs. Column know because all these numbers are known to everybody. So, Mrs. Column can see what are those uh, numbers. Okay. So, Mrs. Column will choose accordingly. Mrs. Column knows that Mr. Rho is going to choose top for sure. So, I Mrs. Column will choose right because out of this left and right two options by choosing right she will get more. So, definitely this will be the equilibrium in this particular case. Okay. This is the equilibrium in which sense that is also a Nash equilibrium. Nash equilibrium actually needs some, some additional restriction or some specific clause to be satisfied. Okay. I, I am coming to that Nash equilibrium. Okay. So, in this particular case what is happening? right? So, if both of the players who are playing have one dominant strategy. So, intersection of the dominant strategies will be the equilibrium. If at least one of them have a dominant strategy, then also one single equilibrium will be guaranteed. In this case, one single equilibrium was guaranteed. In this case, also single equilibrium is guaranteed and that single equilibrium is coming through that everybody is rational and I know you are rational, you know I am rational in that way. Okay? Let us stop here, we will continue this discussion in the next lecture as well. Okay.